Hello, and welcome back to Starve Providence. I'm Arima, and we are going to jump right back into this amazing little game. So, we do actually have a bit of a goal. Um, I've been talking to some people over on the Discord for this game, who is... They're amazing people, um, and the Discord's actually very active. Um, and it was suggested that I focus on getting this seal, but I don't want to just, like, toss a run into the void. So... You guys are going to be here for along the journey on uh, me trying to get a run good enough to afford the extra 70 bloody K that I need. Um, yeah. I'm back. I really wish I weren't. What can you do? Maybe this time it will stick. <laughs> Fucking hell. I kind of love the comedy of this game. It's very, very dark humor. You're a visitor. No. One of my old... Oh. I've actually heard this guy's ah Oh, he's saying more. I was trying to skip through it because I thought he was saying the same thing, but he said something about a warlocks and a court of fools. And like fools they perished while while I persisted. This world was full of has This world was full of fools, sir. Don't let any of them tell you otherwise. I long one day to go to the I long one day to leave these dreary ruins. I give myself over to the phantasmal void. Truly, such an experience would be likely to consume me. But such is the price of ultimate truth. To travel the realm of pure potential, unshackled. This freedom in our own ways, don't we all seek it? Deep. If you haven't seen this movie before, it is a action roguelike, um, a la, like, Finding of Isaac, but, um, far more secrets. Well, I, I wouldn't say, I don't know if I can say it has more secrets than Finding of Isaac, because Finding of Isaac also has a lot of secrets, but, like, it has the same amount of, like, very heavily focused on secrets. You know, someone also told me that there's a default weapon build, or not build, but, like, you can, if you beat the game with the default weapon, you get a achievement, so... Maybe we try that. It also might make me better at the game. Oh, there's another thing. Um, someone suggested in the comments, if we head into options, maybe under... Hmm. They said that there was... Hitbox, here we go. Perfect. Wow. Is that really true? Is that how small our hitbox is? Holy crap. Well, that's, um, that's pretty generous. Yeah, I, I started playing this game after playing uh, Void Reigns Upon Her Heart. And one of the things that I actually really liked about that game is, as a person who was new to Bullet Hells, there was no question or, or quandary about where my hitbox was. It was the circle in the center of uh, her heart. And coming into other games, like, I tried to play Ikaruga immediately afterwards, and it just didn't stick, because I couldn't tell where my bloody hitbox was. So as soon as I heard uh, heard someone suggest in the comments that you can turn this uh, hitbox on, that, like, night and day changed stuff for me. So we're gonna pick up a gun, but then we're going to immediately scrap it. So it doesn't matter which one we pick up. Break weapon would be bomb. I press the wrong button. There we go. I've already gotten so used to the controls of this that I have to, whenever someone, someone, something says, "Oh, you press the bomb button," I'm just like, "Yeah, but what button was that again?" <laughs> could you, could you remind me? Because I kind of don't think about it anymore when I press a bomb. The other thing we're looking for is a very high multiplier. 
Is that excavation? No. Reveals the entire floor? I don't really need max ammo, so I can spend money on other things. So we'll go ahead and buy a bomb. Bombs are... Ooh. Screw you, dude. I forgot that they freaking no personal kid you. Telefrag. Yeah. Recover HP when starting a new floor. That's a really nice upgrade. I haven't seen that, uh, that particular one before. Um, wait, what? Oh, it's cursed. That's not good. I didn't notice that it was cursed. So I'm now doing a sword bill. I have this until I die. I believe that if that means what I think it means. At the same time, like... Out of any weapon to get cursed with... The sword. The sword is the what? I hope it's not like a... Dead Cells curse, where... Where, uh, if I take a single head at this point, I die. If that's going to be the case, then this is going to be a fairly short run. But it doesn't... I... Yeah, no, okay, we, we can take hits. We can take hits. So let's say, if it was going to be single head and we die, it probably would have changed the UI of our... of our HP slightly. Honestly, I'm kind of, like, really fine. Like, really, really fine that we got cursed with a permanent sword. With what I only can assume is a permanent sword. I mean, if it was going to take it away from me after a certain amount of kills, it would have probably taken me away from me after a death, uh, boss kill, right? I'm not sure. This is a new mechanic to me, so uh, we're, we're just going to see what happens, I guess. Take a drink of our lovely coffee. <clears throat> Let's continue. Uh, boss room. Bottom of a wall. Those poor bats weren't really doing anything, and I just came in there. And unfortunately, the laws of this universe said that I had to kill them in order to leave. It was mere them. I wonder if you can get all three concentrations, or I'm assuming that there's three. So they also mentioned that there should be a lock on the room. I think the lock is if I can leave a room without losing an item. And then if there is no lock, um, then I, if I leave a room without picking up the item, I lose it. Okay, I want to test something. So, I think if you recover HP while you're at max HP, it gives you parts. It does. It does, it does, it does. That is one of my favorite systems in any roguelike, and I've only seen a handful do it. This, Returnal, and there's another one, but I can never remember which, what, it, what it was. <clears throat> like, I know I ran into it in other places, but I just, like... The ones that always stood out to me are... Uh, or sorry, the one that always stood out to me is Returnal. Okay, so the curse broke. I don't know what caused it to break. Bombs open doors. Dramatic entrance. Well, I mean, I want that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not 100% sure what was happening with the curse there.
Oh, I see the lock on the bottom of the bubble itself. If there's a lock on the bottom of the bubble, it'll survive me leaving the room. Oh. Also, I really like dramatic entrance. Man, having my hitbox? Hmm. That is... This is this is the beginning of me becoming good at this game. Very nice. Like to see it. Yeah, if you guys have any advice that is non-spoilery um, for this game, you know, feel free to leave a, a comment in the thing below. I read every comment and. I also do my best to respond to every single comment. So we have one attempt, and if we successfully do it, we will collect something. And then I notice that there's a difficulty in layers. I think this layer might indicate what game I'm going to play. So it shows a scroll. So let's see what game that is. Oh, I see. Fortunately, Unfortunately, uh, we, that was a bunch of ammo, but I do think that fortunately, whenever we collect ammo, whenever we're at max, we do get money instead. And we do want money. Part of the reason why I'm doing this run as a no weapon run is because it's going to be a lot more money for us. Potentially. Assuming we don't just, like, you know, die. And more HP, too. I'm kind of liking the no weapon thing, to be honest. Mind you, I like the weapons a lot, so this isn't going to be, like, a thing that I do frequently. But, like, it also isn't excruciating pain like I thought it would be. <laughs> the upgrade terminal that gave us the starting upgrade to be lightning dash always, to be much stronger, is a very good starting gear for this as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is... Getting caught and absolutely hates me. Oh, hey, it's the first boss that I ever fought. This guy's also the thir first thumbnail for the first video I ever made on this. I just kind of like how roary he is. He, he's very much like... Okay, nope. I was trying to do the uh, bullet hell thing and stand between the shots there. But uh, there was just kind of a lot of shots. Man, knowing where my center of mass was, that made that a lot easier. Felt a lot more doable. Mmm, <clears throat> that's not worth gambling for, mate. Yeah, if anyone knows how the curse thing works, yeah. please feel free to let me know. Ah, this guy. You can kind of tell where the gas is going to go ahead of time based on what part of the room he hits. I just didn't do a very good job of reacting in time. Like, I saw it. Oh, we have teleport dash. Crap, I keep forgetting whenever I have this. Um, Matt's HP. More Matt's HP. You're no fun at all. <clears throat> teleport to the wrong room, that's okay. Upgrade in terminal. Extra bomb, immunity, prolongs... Yeah, sure, immunity. Vulcan. Is it cursed again? Huh. I should maybe start reading these weapons before I pick them up. Also, these guys have very bad accuracy. It seems like they can't aim straight down.
Oh, wow. I destroyed that man. Well, despite being cursed and me having no idea what the, of what that fully entails, uh, weapon's pretty good. What? Hit me? I didn't. I didn't see it. Uh, Trumpet just cleared that room for me. Thank you. Ah, come on. And the weapon broke again. Not sure. Maybe it's number of rooms? Very nice. I was hoping, and I... Ooh, worm. I like the worm. I did actually manage to do it as well, is I was hoping that... I need to fight this guy first, and then I will talk in a second. There we go. You know what? I forgot what I was saying. I apologize. I do that way too often. Oh, those are not portals. I thought those were portals. That was some really unnecessary damage because I didn't read the room correctly. Man, I say that. Like, basic weapon is pretty good. I wonder if I have to beat the game with the basic weapon or if I have to never pick up a weapon. Because I've picked up weapons, but... Check if they're cursed. Neither is cursed. Now we break them. It is giving me a bunch of extra money, so that's kind of exactly what we wanted. I believe I have all of the... the... Ah, come on. I just stepped into it. I didn't trust it. Yeah, we have ready uh, all of the mini boss done, ready for the boss. Man, knowing where my hitbox is... It's not going to make me better overnight, but it is night and day. I'm less concerned and paranoid now. Get out of the way. He will drop. Still can't believe I took a hit from that last time. Screw that. I don't like this. You need to die. Thank you. I was eventually going to die to that. I needed to just end him. Uh, we have two doors there, but we need a bomb. So we'll be back. We still don't have the bomb. Now we do. There we go. Ooh, that was very nice. Trumpet basically filled that room. Kill, finished that room for us. Same there. Love when that happens. And a pretty terminal. Deal more damage when you have two more, more than two bombs. Or no, negate damage. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, we're gonna go for the reveal some rooms. I don't think that takes effect on this floor. Oops. Literally just stood there as that hit me. Of 
portals. Oh, Jesus. That was trippy. <laughs> Air droid through the portals. Um, this has the potential of getting us a lot of money. We are going to do it. Perfect. I was going to say I want full HP first. Okay, so we need to do as much damage to him while taking the least amount of damage possible. Well, good start. That's way more of a reward than we've ever gotten before. Basic weapon has piercing. Very nice. Matt's ammo, Matt's ammo. The Matt's ammo doesn't help us, but everything else does. And the basic weapon has piercing is very, very useful for us. Oh, that was interesting. The candles, like, converted to ghosts. Um, my man, you're immune to me. There we go. He was hiding behind the portal, but he could fire through it, and I couldn't. Well, I mean, I could fire through it, but you know what I meant. Basic weapon has some serious moves, man. I wonder if those cursed weapons were affecting my basic weapon somehow, because it doesn't feel like my basic weapon is the basic weapon anymore. Like, it feels really good now. I'm also curious about these new hats. I've gotten a lot of them, but I've never figured out how to do anything with any of them. Oh, the piercing means I can shoot any side of him. Oh, that's really nice. That's really, really nice. Okay. Okay, trumpet might be like one of my favorite things now. Piercing, unfortunately, does not mean I pierce walls. I really hope the challenge is to beat the game with the basic weapon and not to beat the game without ever picking up a basic weapon or anything other than a weapon. Because, uh... I like the, the the strategic opportunities it gives me because of the fact that I'm still picking up weapons and then immediately scrapping them. It's kind of very interesting. It's engaging, I'll say. That guy launched a whole ass fireball at me. When did I get the ability to see boss armor? Oh yeah, that goes with the floor thingy. I forgot. I chose that. And see you down there. That's a hat. Oh, I guess I already have that hat. Matt's ammo reveals the entire floor. Well, I guess we go to the boss because this guy's not too hard. There wasn't really much else to be gained from this floor that I could see. Thank you. 
seems like I'm not firing at him every once in a while. It's because I'm focusing so entirely on my own bloody person that I can't focus on him. Weirdly enough, despite this being like an ultimate attack, it is actually the easiest phase of this boss fight. So we're gonna get one HP back from going down a floor. And we get HP back there, so we'll be at eight. That's not too bad of a situation. I wish we could teleport. It'd be cool if there was a, a, an upgrade that says I can teleport to any room I've, I, I can see. It's like, there'd be some interesting things you can do with that. I mean, it's in a roguelike, so giving you weird, powerful upgrades that, like, pseudo-break the game, it's like, kind of something that is a roguelike hallmark, but I do get that some games don't want to do it, because they have an ulterior motive of not wanting you to break the game, because, you know, there's some cool progression shit being hit in place secrets and puzzles. I love secrets and puzzles, so, you know, don't ruin that, but if you can do it without ruining it, then it's very cool. Um, that's HP. Better, more frequent drops. I would say if I had one place that I think that this game could do more stuff, it's, uh, more of those upgrades potentials at the upgrade station. I don't know what would be added. I have absolutely no idea, but more options there would be really cool. Maybe there are more options there and I just haven't found them. But at base, uh, I kind of have like one of three things that I look for every time I go now. I'll buy a bomb just because it'll help, but without ammo, most of that stuff doesn't help me very much anymore. Wait, how did that fire from the side hurt me? Don't I have the the immunity? Lightning frost and lightning frost and hazards. I guess that's not fire. Fire hazards don't count. There's the key. I don't know if I've found the key door yet. Jeez up. Okay. That was a whole freaking room. And like nobody has sold me uh, health at any point during this run. It heard me complain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's one of the mini bosses. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was way too close for comfort. Ah, rude. He like chucked everything at me at the end there. Mm. Well, we can pick up a weapon and get healing from that. A little bit. I like this enemy. He has like ghosts segmented around the edges of his body and he chucks them at you. I was hiding behind cover because I don't trust enemies. Like, there's so many enemies in this game that freaking like, explode when they die and chuck stuff at you that, like, I don't trust being near dying enemies anymore. Not even corpses are safe. There's another boss. Nice. Nice little chunk of money there. This is a big floor. Just noticed. Oh, I don't like this. Starting into a cover shooter. Uh, let's go 
here. Didn't teleport far enough. Nothing useful for me, sir. Buy more useful items. To sell to me. Oh, man. Really backed into a corner there. I think that is everything. Okay, time to fight the boss. Is this Overlord? I think it is. Yeah. So, we're going to do our best. That's all I can promise. I wasn't in the right place for that, so... Bombed. Come on. Can't get the pattern on that one down. Okay, phase one. Since HP left. Two bombs. Two more phases left. I haven't seen that attack before. Okay. Last phase. One bomb, four HP. At least I hope it's the last phase. Got in a bunch of seals and stuff, so there's a chance that things changed before, between now and last time I fought it. Oh boy. Okay, this isn't too bad. It's visually clustering, but okay. It got bad. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I thought I killed him, he killed me. Oh, okay. Well, we got 80,000 for that. Apparently that was our highest score. Do we have enough money for you? Well, this has been Star Providence, and I've been Arima. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please feel free to come in and watch the next episode specifically, because I believe we now have all of the seals. Something exciting is going to happen. I'm sure of it. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs>